With our card scroll adapter built, we have the ability, of course, to feed in data into our scrolling experience that we're going to build in this module. Now, this uh, code that we build in this module is really going to be kind of the, the kind of the heart of our user experience because it's going to be really where the user can look and see what is uh, what the categories are. They'll be able to associate a current photo with one of those categories. And of course, we even add later on the ability to browse through and just see what photos are with individual categories. So this is really kind of the central part of our user experience. So there's a number of things we're gonna to have to do here as we go through it. So we'll walk through each one of those. Now, as we often do with Android applications, we're gonna create an activity to represent our display. So let's go ahead and create that activity. So I'm just gonna go over here, right click, say new. I'm gonna create an activity. And again, we'll just create a blank activity. I'm gonna call this my category scroll activity. All right, so let's take all the default stairs, go ahead and create that guy. Now, once that guy is created, now, once that guy is created, one of the things it does, of course, is goes ahead and creates the layout for it. We don't want that layout. We're going to actually create, uh, load the layout view directly ourselves. I'm going to go ahead and delete that out of here so there's no confusion there. All right, so let's go into our categories for activity, the source code now. That's where we are now. Let's go ahead and get rid of this set content view that was created for us automatically. Get that out of there. All right now, a couple things are going to have to be handled here. Now, one of the things the user is going to do through this activity is associate a photograph with a particular category. So they're gonna to have to pass that into the activity. We normally do that with intent extras, right? So what we're gonna do is create a constant here that will name our extras. So I'm just gonna call this public, static, final. So we use string. I'm gonna call it extra photo file name. And I'm just gonna give it the value of photo file name. Right, so that'll be the extra we use to associate the name of the selected photo file with the intent it fires off and creates this activity. So one of the things we'll do here in our onCreate method is actually extract that file name from the intent. All right, so we'll do here, let's go down inside here. We'll have an intent. We'll just call this our startup intent. So we have that there. And basically we'll just call it get intent. All right, so that basically says get the intent that created me. Right now, what we're going to do here is we'll go to that startup intent. We'll call get string extra, and we'll pass in that extra photo file name. And of course, what we want to do is assign that into a member variable. So what I'll do here is I'll create a member variable called a photo. Excuse me, new photo file name. So what we'll then do is we will assign that uh, from the extra into this guy. Right. So our new photo file name equals, right? So what that happens now is that we can go ahead and extract the file name from the extra that's passed into us and go ahead and work with it. Now, the way we're gonna get that file name is by going over to our menu activity and actually passing it in. Right now, once we get the photo back, we just do a toast message. What we're gonna do now is go ahead and show that other activity and pass the file name along with it, right? So what we'll do in here is so just create an intent and this will be the intent to go ahead and show our category scroll, excuse me, category scroll activity, right? So we'll just new open intent, pass in this as the context, and then it'll just be our category scroll activity dot class. Right, that creates that intent. And remember what we want to do is we want to take that intent, we're going to put an extra on it. The name of the extra is going to be category scroll activity dot extra photo file name, and so that's the name of it, and then we're gonna actually put our file name, our photo file name right in here, right, so our photo file name. So we forgot that there. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and put that back on the previous line, it's probably a little easier to see. Right. So we now associated that file name with the intent, and so now we can just do a regular old start activity, passing in the intent. All right, so what that'll do now, is when the user selects the, photo, the photograph, the one they want, We'll uh, associate the file name of the one they selected with the intent, call start activity, which then goes over here to our category scroll activity. And our activity can then extract that file name from the intent. And so now we know which file the user selected. Right now we have one last bit of kind of housekeeping we need to think about. Right, it's back here in our menu activity. Remember that whenever we show from one activity to another, we want to go ahead and post it with a handler so we can keep all the animations working like they're supposed to. So rather than doing all this work directly, we want to go ahead and wrap it up in our call to our handler post. Right? So we'll go to our handler here. We'll call post. 
Right, we'll new up a runnable. Right, and of course, what we want to do? Well, we want to pass all this, I move all this intense stuff inside of here. Right, so we're going to grab all that, cut that, and put that in there. Now, we know a couple things we have to do. Right, One thing we have to do, of course, is for our context, we have to use our menu activity dot this instead. So we actually get the context that we're contained in. But the other issue we have is our photo file name here. Right, we're basically using a closure here. In other words, we're running we're using code that's going to run in a different place than this variable is declared in. Right, in order for that to work in Java, we have to mark that as final. Right, basically, that it tells the compiler that once we assign this, this value won't change, so it's safe to use that down here in this closure. Right, because again, this code's going to run. This code inside of here will run after this onActivityResult method returns, because we're posting it out to be handled later.